So we are going to the Whitney Mansion to do a salvage job. It's supposed to be like one of the most haunted places in the city, so. Yeah, if you take that, you'll be haunted forever, so. Alright, so we just got to the Whitney, which is located in Midtown Detroit. I'm recording. <laughs> Bryce started talking, I'm like, am I recording? Oh yeah, are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the boys haven't got here just yet in their pickup truck, um, or the box truck, but we are going to just set up and get a plan of action. We're doing a little filming. What's up? Do you want to hey. say hello and state your name? Hey, how's it going? I'm Carl. <laughs> Carl is the guy who's letting us take some amazing materials out of the carriage house of the Whitney. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about the Whitney? Do you know any information? The main house, I believe, there's a plaque out front that says it, but I believe it was built in like 1890. So the Whitney family were basically lumber barons and they were like one of the richest families at the time. Um, and I believe this was like one of the largest houses. Like at that time. So this was like their personal house. Yeah. And this was one of several. They built another house not far from here, you know, of similar size, just because they got bored of this one, basically. So, you know, they had a bit of money to do what they wanted. <laughs> but um, as far as the carriage house here, it was built, I think, within like 10 years after, somewhere around 10 years after the main mansion was built. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the Detroit Athletic Club was actually right next door. Mm. So they had, I'm sure, tons of activities that involved horses. So Mr. Whitney decided to build this carriage house here to store his horses because he was such a fan of the athletic club. So once they started building this, it's kind of, it's kind of funny and kind of sad, I guess, that by the time they finished building this carriage house, the Detroit Athletic Club moved to a different space. Yeah. The main reason was he put it here because of the proximity. So it wasn't used to the extent that it was intended for. Yeah. Damn. So this is the staircase that we're going to be walking up? Yeah. <gasps> it's pretty steep. A little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, if you guys call, whichever one you want to use, I just figured this is more direct. So. Damn. Holy shit. I've been up it a few times. It does seem sturdy. Yeah, no. Sturdy is not a thing. I think it's more of just like bringing shit down. I mean, honestly, we might have to just like slide things down. That's what I was thinking. Like, yeah. you could have like maybe people down here. Yo, this is the other staircase. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little steep. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. If, there is if we could slide material page. down it, that would be... Yeah, nice. yeah, definitely. I figured that's probably the easiest, more direct way to go yeah. with that, so... And then bring the nicer stuff down. Yeah. The staircase. Yeah. Cool. Do you guys want to see the staircase that we're going to be bringing things out? Oh. Holy... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're totally going to make it. We're going to bring things down that? <laughs> da there's danger there. Whoa. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> How is it uh, looking up there? Scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, We're gonna. Walk through and then get a plan. Okay. Alright, so everyone's upstairs getting a game plan of this job. I'm probably missing half the plan, so let's get up here. Oh my god. Oh, you guys are all like, up here already? I missed the entire game plan. I literally told Kyle, I was just like, get headlamps. We have them too. Oh, I think I have one in my bag, strangely enough. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty sketchy. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Kyle, what's the game plan? Game plan is move the truck. Get all the furniture out of here, first and foremost. And then, um, yeah, start moving all the material. Figure out what's in here. Be a little bit of a treasure hunt. Nice. And a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go right up with it. Tight. Obviously, we're replacing the wooden ladder with that thing. Yeah. Cool. Alright, 
Kyle, how are you feeling about this job? Great. <laughs> how great? Super great? Uh, I definitely am gonna need a mask inside. Do you have one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, boys, got all the tools. And uh, yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. We're just like taking things out and putting in the truck. So now in the attic, we are taking out things like trim, crates, lumber, lots of trim, like I already mentioned. Um, but it's really cool because it has like really amazing detailed profiles. Um, and Kyle's already kind of thinking like we should incorporate it into Mystery on Mac. Um, so yeah, check this out. Like, I'm really excited about this piece. This is the one that he was just like, oh yeah, this is for Mac, for sure. And then you got pieces like this that have these little details, which is super sick. But yeah, out probably, oh, it won't focus. Now we're focused on something. So this pile, oh Lord. <laughs> Some of this pile, and then I want to look in this pile a little bit. I feel like there might be some stuff. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Thanks. So. Yeah, go through all of it. There's such drama. <laughs> drama like flies down there. You guys all right down there? <laughs> oh my god. The drama. Oh, just sister, sister boys. <laughs> We are at the point where oh, losing some steam, just ate lunch, and we are going to start loading the rest of the materials. So all of this needs to go in the truck. Let's get to it. Is this officially your first salvage job with Woolworth OX? It's uh, mine. I think his for sure. Yeah. 
Have you been on it before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angelica's down. <laughs> Angelica's been on multiple salary shots. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Getting dirty. Ready for some beers. <laughs> Dude, a beer yeah, sounds fucking tight. That. Unfortunately, I have to go to the store. Are you coming to the store? Yep. I, 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 think, I think you guys might be unloading this today. I think that's the goal. Can't wait. I'm taking a shower, guys. <laughs> Actually, I don't feel very good. <laughs> Um, we might have to go home. Actually, going back to what they asked earlier, what is our favorite pieces? I think this is my favorite piece we salvaged. What about you? What's the favorite? Coolest item. Uh, I'll go with this. <laughs> it's a lot of wood. <laughs> this is unique, though. I've never seen one of these. Angelica, what's your favorite? Probably some of the drawer handles, some drawers. Yeah, those oh, are tight. Oh, the brass hooks. I like all those brass hooks we got. Yeah. You're only allowed to have one favorite. Okay, well, that's a runner up to <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, man, we guys, we did it. Kyle does such a great job packing this, though. It doesn't look like it's a lot, but it's a lot. It's just organized. <sighs> but yeah, uh, what's it called? Unloading is not going to be fun. <laughs> All right, Kyle, how you feeling? Ready to go home. Yeah. Carl, how you feeling? Sweaty but good. <laughs> we did it. Um, what time? Anyone have time check? What time is it? Damn. Yeah, we gotta go. Are we really trying to unload this today? <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe tomorrow. We still have more things to load too. Maybe no. tomorrow. No. You look really sweaty. <laughs> Good job, though. Sweating for like two weeks straight. Yeah. So I was asking everyone, what's your favorite piece that we uh, saved? I think this is gonna be really cool. In the Mac house. Everyone is all about the Dunweeder. Yeah. Don't break it now. But yeah. Dope. Yeah. Let's get the rest of the stuff in here and let's go back to the shop. Cool. Yeah, so that's it, you guys. We just salvaged the Whitney's <sighs> carriage house, and we just filled up a truck full of trim lumber, Dunweeder, more lumber trim that we're gonna incorporate into our next upcoming projects. Mystery Mac and beyond. Might even put together a furniture collection with some of the leftover materials. But yeah, stay tuned. What we build next is coming up soon.